My name is Dr. Michael Capio, and I am a dentist in Marina del Rey, California. What I wanted to show everybody today is how to virtually correct a gummy smile using a, photo, uh, a Photoshop-like program called Pixlr. Now, Pixlr, if you've never used it before, is strikingly like Photoshop. And um, dentists will really like this because it's online and it's free. Uh, there's no subscription cost, there's no cost at all. So um, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to assume that you know nothing about Pixlr, so you can find it online. It's web based and it's P I X L R, Pixlr Editor. Okay, and we'll click on this. Okay, and I'm going to open the image. Okay, and I hope I said one way because, um, you know, there's probably many ways to correct a gummy smile. You know, um, this patient here could get surgery, uh, this patient could get crown lengthening, but really, um, this is not so much a dental discussion, although dentists will like to turn it into one. This is more of a Pixlr and Photoshop discussion of how you can show the patient what her teeth could look like. So what I first like to do is duplicate this layer. Okay, sorry about that. Let me delete that, but duplicate this layer. So I right-clicked and duplicated it. And just so you uh, understand what duplication means is basically I have a layer right on top of the other one so we don't erase the original. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time. Duplicate it, and it's right on top and not uh, moved from its original position. So I'm going to use the clone stamp tool in Photoshop uh, back in the day. This was called the rubber stamp tool. And I'm going to take a fuzzy brush. There's different types of brushes here. You could switch the brush. I'm going to use a fuzzy kind of round brush. And I'll make it big. Okay? And basically with this tool, I'm going to wheel in and zoom in. You have to do a control click to define a point. Did you see that? The cursor changes. It's a control click on a PC or a command click on a Mac. And basically what this does is it defines a center point at which the computer will copy what's around it. Okay? And so I want to show you, I'm just now clicking and moving. You could actually control click again to collect a new center point. And the best way to get a feel for this is to try this out for yourself. Okay, so I can drag the mouse without clicking, or I can control click and and click and control click and click more. Okay, and well, oh, got a little pink there. Okay, how does that look? And then I'm going to go to laterals. And I'm just control clicking and you know moving the mouse. And if you don't like something, you can you can do edit and undo just like most softwares. Okay, and you may have to undo a couple of times to get back to where it was. Um, also in Pixlr, just like Photoshop, um, there's a history where you can you can really go back. pretty far. Okay, so I'll just restart again to show you and review. You do command click to choose the center point and just roll your mouse up and the best way to do this is just try it. Okay, so I'm going to do her other lateral here. Okay, and then zoom out. So that gives us a quick idea of how this could look, and you can toggle the layer off and on. 
to say, okay, this is the before and here it is after. Now I realize that I could have done this way more accurately, but um, again, this is just to give the patient an idea of how this could look with an aesthetic crown lengthening procedure, no uh, orthognathic surgery involved, or whatever. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. You can do it. Uh, file, save, and then what I'm going to do is uh, put after, and you may want to e email that to the patient. You can, you can also with Pixlr optimize the photo for emailing. You may want to bump down the quality so that it's not such a big file. You could resize it. Okay, it gives you a little size uh, comparison here, and then you can OK it and save it. Okay, well, thank you for watching.